2017, and we finally have a new and improved version of the promising Bitdefender free antivirus. Let's see how well it holds up to a TPSC full review. The user interface for this application is greatly simplified, and now you have this new window which looks a lot more modern while maintaining the minimalistic approach of the previous version. The settings panel does not offer a lot of customization, however important features like exclusions and quarantine are accessible easily now. This is a much more intuitive user interface than the one that was previously present, and I believe underneath it is using the same AV engine as the premium products of Bitdefender. Even though the previous version didn't really seem like a very serious product, it did perform fairly well because of the engine underneath. Now that we have a polished product, if the performance stacks up, this will be a very serious contender for the free antivirus of choice for several people. I also noticed that it's very light. Um, it does use a fair amount of RAM, like 80 megabytes, but that's beside the point. The CPU usage was fairly limited. But importantly, I did not encounter any system slowdown, or at least haven't encountered so far. Now let's get to the link test and uh, check this version out. So we have several new links that I grabbed from a few sources. Let's just try them out and uh, let's see how well Bitdefender's web protection stacks up. The first one's easily blocked. The web protection does use the cloud, so it might give you a little bit of a delay while loading infected pages. Hmm, the second one's out of reach. Let's try the next one. This one's also blocked. Once again, taken care of by Bitdefender. Another block. We're getting pretty close to the end. Seems like a piece of cake for this AV engine. Another one bites the dust. T.exe. And the last one's help config. It's funny how a lot of malware have uh, names of help files. But anyway, it's blocked nonetheless, and Bitdefender has maintained a clean sheet in the web prevention test. Not a huge surprise, the only reason I do these web prevention tests is to, you know, just give you an idea of how the product functions. Since the sample size is really small, I don't think um, it's a very revealing test. But that's why we'll move to the second part, in which I have over 1,000 files. 1,085 to be precise, that I will be loading onto the system. Usually I would disable the AV product, but in this case I'm just going to drag the folder in and we'll see what Bitdefender can do about it. That'll also tell us if the protection works on access or on modification. It seems like it's not blocking anything, so I'm assuming this is on execution protection. That makes it light. Well, actually, we do have a few items missing in here, so I'm assuming Bitdefender took care of those. Yep, it does say threats were blocked, and it's continuing to take care of these files. To make this process simpler, I'm just going to disable the protection for a moment and do a full scan. I mean a full scan of the folder, not of the entire system. Let's start the context menu scan and see how quickly it can get rid of the malicious files. The scan interface also seems to be greatly improved. I'm starting to like this new theme. In fact, I like it better than the premium version. Alright, the scan was fairly quick and it has found 1049 unresolved threats. So I'm just going to um, view these files and we'll try to delete all of them. They do have a disinfect option, but we're just going to delete in order to ensure that we get an accurate detection ratio. 893 files resolved and 156 unresolved. So this time I'll try move to quarantine, and if that fails, then I'll just have to leave it as it is. 
Okay, now our system is completely clean, or so Bitdefender thinks. Let's see what's left in the malware folder. We still have 18 items. We had 1,085 to start, which translates to a detection ratio of 98.3%, which is really impressive for these files. And that's the reason a lot of products use the Bitdefender engine. There are few that can better it in detection. Now it's time for the interesting part. We are going to re-enable the protection of Bitdefender, and then we are going to try executing these files which are unknown to the AV engine. This is where I feel there might be a difference between the paid products and the free product because it doesn't seem to have any of the fancy components, although if I'm right, I think they do have things like ATC implemented internally. Running this thread should tell us more. All right, this tried to take us to an infected website and was blocked. Oh, the third file created a lot of other things in this folder. We'll keep on running. The files, I mean, I'm not asking you to get up and run. This seems like some kind of... Adware, maybe? I don't know. Most of this just looks like AdWord to me. Seems like some program got installed in this directory. That's funny. Oh no, I ran the same file twice and this is probably an annoying one. Okay, I guess that's going to be that. I can't find any other original malware files, so I'm just going to let the system run for some time and then we'll reboot it. ISL Lite Client. This might be legitimate software. Just might. And this cannot establish a connection to the server. I'm not sure for what reason. Maybe it's trying to download AdWare and Bitdefender's blocking it. Maybe it's just uh, an internal program error. So this is going to install some kind of application. Looks fairly legitimate. But, well, it's not for me to decide. So I'll install it and let our second opinion scans decide. Ooh, update your Adobe Flash Player. Nothing bad ever happened from that. Well, again, we were taken to some kind of malicious domain and Bitdefender blocked the page. I don't know if ATC did something in the background, but, uh, well, we'll reboot the system and then we'll find out. It's time to look at the second opinion scanners and see what they've discovered. Malwarebytes, nothing. Zamana, nothing again. And Hitman Pro just found a few tracking cookies. So I guess it's safe to say that this system is entirely clean. Good job, Bitdefender. This is definitely one of my favorite free AVs now. It's very minimalistic, it's light on the system, it does what it's supposed to do, and for anyone who's looking for a combination or just some basic antivirus protection with not too many fancy features, this is... Um, probably the ideal product. So if you're in a fix and you're still wondering what kind of product you should go for, you want something that's very easy to use and simple and clean with not too many bells and whistles, yet effective, I would strongly recommend giving this a try at least. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe to the PC Security channel. This is Leo. Thank you for watching and as always, stay informed Stay secure.